All right, so today I'm in the Red Tower room doing all my daily chores, and I thought it would be a good idea to bring you guys along since the Red Tower room tour of 2017 is doing great. It's got like 60,000 views right now, and I posted it a few weeks ago. And a lot of you have been asking for more videos, and I really want to post a lot more. So maybe these little videos like this that I'm doing right now are what you guys want to see. So based on how well this video does we'll see if i make more if i upload every day every other day but i want to keep uploading as much as i can so let's see what all the animals are doing right now and everything they need right here is ivy my uh carpet python she's a jungle carpet python uh sib jaguar sib yeah i think that's what they call them jaguar sib jungle carpet pythons it's something like that i'm not really too much into the genetics of them but see like right here she went to the bathroom that's stuff that i need to clean and that's basically what i do every day just go to each and every animal see what their needs are see like right here it's time to replace uh the paper towel so that's what i'm gonna do right now so basically the first step is take out the locks because every snake cage you have should have a lock. Turn off the heat light. And then open this. All right, so there she is. And I'm not gonna just reach in and grab her like that because it might scare her and she might bite. So, even though she's friendly, but her feeding response may go off. The lighting here isn't too good because it's inside of one of my racks. But we'll just go ahead and move her off. And what I wanna get is down there. So see her head is over there. So we'll take this, we can take it out. Right there's what I wanna get. I have my glove on. So just take it. And then you can put it in a plastic bag. Just like that. And that's what I do with every animal like this that needs cleaning. And that's basically it. So we put the cork back. We'll fix the leaves. How it was. Oh, see, now that water is dirty. Because she went to the bathroom over there and inside of the water. So I'll, all we have to do now is dump this in the sink. Clean everything out. And I'll be back with a clean batch of water. All right, so now Ivy should be happy in her cage. She's got the clean water right there. And don't use tap water, but if you do, you can use Reptisafe, and this will clear up the tap water and make it good to use for your reptiles. So now it's time to move on to my leopard gecko over here. Oscar, it's time to give him some new paper in here, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. So the battery died on my iPhone, and now I'm using my DSLR. So, back to where we were, I need to fix the paper towels on my leopard gecko. And it's an easy task. First thing I'm gonna do is take him out. Oscar's a beautiful gecko, and I love having him in my collection. But for right now, he's just gonna chill on my shoulder. So this next task is easy. Just take everything out of his cage. All right, here's the water bowl he has. Oh, I just made a mess. This is all in my rack system, so it's a little bit hard to get out. If I didn't say it before in the video, Oscar is in a 20 gallon long tank. And see, he's got all these poops from a while ago. And I made a mess over here, spilling the water dish. But we take all this. Oh look, a doobie roach. All right, that, that's not trash. That's food. All right, so I'm gonna throw this out and be back with new paper towels. So right here on this layer, I have a bunch of invertebrates. And the invertebrate I'm gonna take a look at right now is over here. This is my Texas gold millipede. But inside of that cage, there are also a ton of bumblebee millipedes. They don't need too much work done on them, but I am going to give them a light spray of water. That way they get the moisture they need. 
All right, so here they are. This is 10 inches by about 6 inches, and they've got a good amount of substrate to burrow. The bumblebee millipedes are perfect in here, but I might need to add more substrate or move this one into a bigger cage because he's really long. I'll pick him up just for the video, but it's a beautiful millipede. I've had, uh, this is my third one I've had. The bumblebees I bred, I never bred these. These aren't too common uh, to for breeding in captivity. I only know like one person who actually did it successfully, but I have successfully bred these bumblebee millipedes. I don't sell the substrate I had anymore. Right here's a piece of lettuce. This is the kind of stuff you wanna take out. So I'll go around the cage, take this out, take this out. We don't want any rotting rotting uh vegetables in here and i'll take my mister this little one right here works perfectly and i'll just miss everything a little bit millipedes are super easy to take care of so if you want to get any invertebrates millipedes are definitely the way to go now we'll move on to another one I'm going on down this rack i'm going to take these out these are my mexican fire leg tarantulas it's a male and female pair, and we'll see what they need. Alright, this one right here is being a little bit crazy, and he's sticking to the side, or to the top of the container. But this one over here should be fine, so first we'll go ahead and check this one out. Alright, so there she is. She's very beautiful. Um... Everything seems to be about fine in this cage. Uh, tarantulas are very easy to take care of. She hasn't eaten recently. She hasn't pooped anywhere, so I don't have to clean it. It's just an easy animal to take care of. That's why I have so many of them. But the other one actually did make a mess right there. Inside of her water bowl, she filled it up with dirt. So now I'm going to close this. And the goal here now is to take out dirt from that water bowl and fill it up with new clean water for her to drink. Actually, you know what? This is the male, so... And it needs a tank upgrade. So, eventually, in another video, maybe you guys will see me move this one into a bigger cage. Because this is not sufficing right now. And I am stressing out, actually, by touching this cage so much. I probably shouldn't be doing that. I remember that in the last tarantula feeding video, a lot of you got mad that I was poking the cages that I was talking and stuff so that's something I'm gonna stop doing so let's get this thing open and then check out uh, the dirt all right so basically what I'm gonna do right now is very simple I'm going to grab this bring it out then once it's over here I'm going to move everything around like this and simply dump it out onto this piece of paper I can even use my finger actually, it'll just be easier. Then, I'll go ahead over here, get myself a brand new piece of paper towel. It's kind of hard to do this with one hand, but... Alright, I'll move it out, clean it out a little bit. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but... One thing you have to remember is that if there is substrate inside of this water dish, it's going to be sucked in. The water that you pour in is going to be sucked in. So now all this will go into the paper bag that you should always have on your side. And then I'm going to pump up this mister over here. And I'm going to just spray some water in directly into the cage. And that's it. That's all you have to do. The tarantula isn't going out anywhere. I mean, she's about to, but all we gotta do is close it right up. Be careful with your leg right there. And close it. That's it. It's super easy. Tarantulas are a great animal to keep. If you don't have one already, I definitely recommend it. Alright, let's go see if anything else needs cleaning. I would show you guys more of the tegu, but he's actually bruminating right now, and I already did everything I needed with him today. So, here's a little feature in the video, but now we're going to another animal. 
I'm taking a look at all the animals again and everything seems to be clean and perfect all these animals are perfect the animals down there we just did and even the ones down there it's just tarantulas and some cockroaches those are all good now mocha my articulated python actually went to the bathroom right there so I'm gonna have to clean that I'm also gonna have to feed this leopard gecko right here so right now we'll do mocha first and then we'll come back to this leopard gecko I think mocha heard me talking about her because she's already coming out of her hide to see what I'm doing all right first step always remove the lock other way remove the top right there there's some shed from mocha her head is right there I can already hear you guys saying this cage is too bare and it is very bare but it's only because she was about to be she just finished shedding and I wanted to get some good shots of her with my camera here is the P, the year eight, that's actually what they're called. Uh, Mocha, if I touch her right now, she might actually bite me because of her feeding response, not because she's aggressive. That's the reason that we always carry the snake hook too. So basically, I touch her head, that means that she's not being fed. Reticulated pythons are very smart, and this is actually called hook training. So you tap their head, it means they're not getting fed. Now, now that her head is tapped, I can touch her, do whatever I want. But, you always gotta respect the animal. Uh, I'm done here, so I'll leave it back to what she was doing, getting some heat. Under this substrate, there is a heat mat. And, yeah, that's it. That's all you need to do to clean a reticulated python. Lock goes back on, and then... We are going back to feeding the leopard gecko. Alright, so if you guys didn't already know, mealworms, which is this thing, turn into pupa, which are these. I don't know if the camera can focus. And the pupa turn into these beetles, which this one's getting away. Where is it? Right there. That is the evolution of the, or not evolution, metamorphosis of the mealworm. These are not too good to feed because they have a hard exoskeleton. But these and these, in my opinion, are okay to feed. So we're just going to grab one of these pupas and then feed it to this leopard gecko over here. Let's see if he likes it. Oh, he just dropped it. Let's try to get another shot of him eating. Right here. Oh, he's gonna get it. Perfect. Alright, so I'll just drop these in here for him. And let's see him. Oh, they all fell under. Let's see what he does. Alright, problem solved. I took out the thing, and now he sees them. Alright, so if you guys enjoyed this type of video, please let me know in the comments and let me know any other type of videos you guys would like me to post. Also, follow me on my Instagram. There it is, Thomas Passy. Alright, so don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.